Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, I get some sad news as it relates to a popular dancehall artist named Boom Dandy Might. A lot of women know Boom Dandy Might from being around Bounty Killer. I believe he was also, well, not believe, I am sure he was a part of the Skadem crew with Elephant Man, Nitty Kochi, and you don't know Harry Tadl and them people there. Eh? So right now, as I say, I get some sad information, and this information is coming from um, producer Scatter Burrell. So you don't know me, I'll give you know, the information you may get. You understand, people? Also, I'm talk about Shensia, who announced that she will be giving away 10 MacBook and also she will be paying two Shen Yang's tuition. You understand me and some people. And yesterday was what? Shen Yang Day. I think I saw she called it. Zin. You don't know. Say she always keep it every year. And I think last year she paid some girl tuition. So you don't know. Shensia do the same thing this year. So she make a post. Me got actually shown that. You understand me and some people. But separately from that, we're going to talk about producer Dan Carleon responding to Beanie Man. After Beanie Man and said something about him while he was on um, in an on-stage interview with Winford Williams. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Also, I'm going to talk about Queen Africa, saying that she can actually file a lawsuit against Lady Saw for defamation. Remember recently, Lady Saw, well, Marian Hall, Minister Marian Hall, I'm going to say, came out and said, or insinuate that Queen Africa was a les. You understand me? I say more people. So Queen Africa said something about it, and you don't know some little last suit uh, come up a little bit for those like a split second. So I'm gonna play it so near what she have to say. Also, I'm gonna talk about the friend of CMR Excite Chick Cass. Them actually go live last night, my people. Cass and her friend go live last night, and the friend reveal say, Boy, it look like they're gonna try to get CMR in a more problem again. The friend reveal says CMR did a try FR. <laughs> People, it seem like them girls are trying to keep this whole CMR thing going, you know. Trust me, and a whole heap of people did up on the live, you know. I think over 500 people. So, I'm going to play a live so you can hear what I'm going You see it? Anyway, people, before I go further into the topics, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet. Make sure to follow my Instagram page, MixUpTime4. And you don't know, respect to everybody who support the channel. You understand, people? So, first thing we're going to talk about is the breaking news that we're getting as it relates to popular artist Boom Dandy Might. You see, my people? Now, remember recently, Boom Dandy they might met in a car accident you know seeing my people and with the ear say it wasn't good but then we did hear some news that say like him regain consciousness because me say when them came got a hospital him never did conscious and things in my people and you don't know as me say we hear same did regain consciousness according to dance all mag well this morning now mrs scatterborough posts up two photos with boom down the might and the caption is we actually catch a lot of people you see my people so this is what the caption has say. So much greatness and humbleness taken away. At Boom Dandy Might Heart was the cleanest and the realest. Just get the news and we can't even go back to sleep. This was this was supposed to be your big moment on the Reggae Sun Fest stage, my G. Sincerest condolences to his children and loved ones. You see it, my people. So this information, I must say, I come from Scatter Burrell. Somebody tell him, say, the entertainer passed away. And of course, people in the comment section now, you know, even Tanya Stevens comment and she was very shocked by the news and thing. Somebody put up some dove emoji and thing, you understand? So, those there for me to know what's going on. Um, I guess we will get an official report from the Gleaner, Observer, the Star, or maybe him team or bounty or something later on in the day or whatever you see me about this information is coming from Scatterborel. I just want to make that clear you see my people so let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section hey, good morning good morning good morning my people just wake up to the worst possible news ever my co-worker my friend my brother my <laughs> rich cable express boom dynamite just passed away and due to the previous car accident. So I'm just wanting to keep him family and friends, you know what I'm saying, and everybody in on the prayer. My people, worst Sunday this will ever be. So now we're going to talk about producer Dan Carleon responding to something that Beanie Man said about him on, on stage. And now, people, it's not anything bad. It's actually something good. Zine. Beanie Man was speaking on producers in Jamaica now. I'm basically saying that the producers, them now, them not really have a genuine love for the music. You understand what I say? Because it's like Beanie Man has said the real producers, them are the two last producers, them who they deal with music on a level. Them Ghana foreign. And him say Russian and Dan Carleon. Yes, so, Dan Carleon, I guess him feel good 
of being a man making that acknowledgement of him being one of the best from out of Jamaica. You understand what I say? So, Dan Carleone responds, him posts up a piece of the on-stage interview and him say, this is the most on-point argument I heard about the state of dancehall. Being a man, I salute you, my boss. Me personally, I am always supporting change in music and I don't bash younger producers or chop dancehall. At the end of the day, it's all art to me. Rhythm don't matter. It's the full production that counts the end product. You can produce a total dancehall beat and it doesn't bust or go nowhere. For example, Cartel song, Simia say, it's not a dancehall beat, nor Bounty, it's a party, which is one of my favorite songs from him, our Cobra Girl Flex. The one thing all these songs have in, have is they are hit songs. And what they are saying on, on it is totally authentic. Jamaica lyrics so the moral of the story is produce hit song simple as that you understand me and some people and you don't know all the people in the comment section and thing and thing like one person say the topics are too limited dancehall artists and producers used to cover many topics Bounty Beanie and other artists would have songs talking about love sex reality culture politics and bad man things producer producer like Dan Carleon Dave Kelly and others would record several artists and a rhythm that would cover these topics too. Unfortunately, most of the songs now exclusively cover topics like scamming, killing and rough sex. There's no love in the music and not enough balance. So that's where Afrobeat had the opportunity in music and soca at parties. The artists and producers need to be more multi-dimensional. If not, it will continue to limit and, and shout out a lot of fans of dancehall music. I enjoy the current music too, but find myself going to 90s dancehall or other genres of music for what's missing when dancehall used to have it all you see me dan carly and respond and say my brother fox you you are one of the gatekeepers who from day one always promote and supported our genre we jamaica can't thank you enough for your support you see me people so you don't know that was from papa keith i believe he's some um radio personality or something like that you see it anyway people let me know if you don't agree with with what Beanie Man said about Dan Carleon and Russian is the last set of producers from Jamaica who are deal with the thing on an authentic level, is it? And also let me know if you rate the response from Dan Carleon, is it? Leave it in the comment section. So now we're gonna talk about CMR, my people. Zin, I'm a can't believe so we even still up on the topic here. But last night is ex side chick, well, side chick number two, Cassandra, went live, my people, and you don't know her friend was also with her. So of course, CMR and him come up and more beans start for spill. The friend now is claiming, say, <laughs> CMR did try for whatever, whatever to her. You understand what I say? And honestly, people, I feel like I said them need for just leave it alone now because you don't know when you come up with things the same way, you know, it all look like you actually chased clout. Even though, you know, the girl named Momo was the person who did ask them the questions. So they were just responding to the questions them same way about. Some people are gonna say, well, them should have just do on site, you know, why them still talk about it and the thing I died down, it'll look like them are try and mess up him marriage officially now. See so I don't know people, I gonna play the video now so you can hear what they must say. Only can listen and tell more anything, is it? Listen this my people. See I you might vex with me today after this one, but I saw it go big up yourself too. And I got some things to say. If somebody make them cost me, they because them I got throw them off. Them I got throw me off. So when me I say is no. So the time that when you were you and Cass wasn't talking, did you know that he was gonna Cass? Did you know that he was gonna reach out to her? No. Him ask him ask him ask her and him lie and say him never reach out to me. But he did reach out to me one time. On WhatsApp, coming there be WhatsApp number. Cause who was that close? Like, so in call me and him say, I me and him talk about Cassandra, and I was like, oh, I miss her and stuff. And him tell me things so Then he was like, oh, many times I may have something I go on with, and him say, oh, me can't get the money. Just come see me. And I'm like, what? I didn't ask you that. Like, I didn't ask you for no money. You just offer to give me money. And I'm like, I take it on some friendship, and but man, I'm gonna come. Like, you're gonna have to sell me the money or something. But him say, yo. You know my can, right? You know the situation. Go say what I could pull up on me. So he was like, basically saying me would have to fuck him. So I said, no, I'm not coming. You can keep yes, it. Yes, I never mean, beg you. And you, no, I don't. Need this me. is when we wasn't really talking. Yeah, but so and she I didn't know. know. So him, I got to she and I tell him, say, him never look argument to me. Yeah. Even when I was in the hotel room, 
he was like, oh, you know, me never try, try to look, but it's true, them have them have one, me just stay like this, because I don't tell she already, because me not, because it, no, it look like, it look like you're the one who really are the brains behind this whole thing. Because, <laughs> <laughs> You camped up on the live that night and you be, when he camped up after you and you said, you said, tell the truth. It's like you want to use me. I'm want money. I'm not going to walk away from this. I'm gonna, that's what I right, hear you no, said. Because, all right. I'm going to right, do the way I do. I'm going to make the way. Listen to me. Right. Renee, behave yourself for all of no. them. I'm not care for the money. I don't want to hear the way. My yeah, we we did. people who didn't want to ask them certain blood clot question where we hear things after so and we always are going to talk the fear might bring them people are in a bumble clock relationship why are you going to tell Christy if exactly if, 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 like Canada, with the mother leave us alone right what? now clear one thing before we continue she never knows that him did married i'm not no, going to like she, she, she said that she never knew at the beginning she said, then when she found she, she said two weeks no, later but when people are said people are saying she moved because she didn't know. She never knew. I'm not going to like someone on the start there with somebody and get close to each other. Oh, no. Then it stopped. Sex. Yes. It's common sense. You know, we break it down then it stops. Fuck. Yes. But the man still try bring our stuff and give our money. Like, chill out. Give You know what I mean? Like, come on now. Then them start back. Fuck. What? She just choose to do it. Like, you can't send up to her. What you want to do? Like. She did say that but though she said she didn't know he was married at first like, and two weeks after someone showed her the the youtube channel with chrissy and but she said at that time she was talking to him it is what it is but my thing was just the extortion thing because he tried right, to make it seem like y'all was lying yeah. so we're up on the bed now so all i would do there we're trying to get the story straight i mean i tell him what for the one this and i tell him that he, he did want involve shani and remember tell him shani can't tell us so we did call. Did. that time we called cassandra called she did, that was the thing, and Cassandra just said, Why you want to include Shani? Like, that's so stupid. Like, it now gonna make no sense. And Shani run wild on the, on the abide and say the messes. All right, my people. So, after listening to that, we're gonna think about this whole situation. I'm not even gonna say nothing upon this, my people. I'm just gonna move right on to the next topic now. So Queen Africa was recently on Instagram live, seeing my people and basically she said, yo, the things them were Marian Hall, Minister Marian Hall formerly lady side saying about her being a les, you don't know because she was around a particular person in a Europe and that person was, I guess, a part of the, you know, the community there. So you don't know Queen Africa. Say, yo, you know, me can sue you for defamation because you come tell lie for me about me and lizard or whatever. You see me? Because in a Jamaica, you know, so when time certain things stick by your name, it, sometimes it's hard to get off. You understand what I'm saying? Not saying me believe it still, you know. I'm telling you straight up, you understand? Because you don't know the, the, at the heat of the moment, what if things are going to come out what that is not true and things are going to come out that is true. So I guess that's we have a pick. Sense out and nonsense or try to pick out the truth from out of this whole situation. But Queen Africa said what she said. So I'm going to get to the live now so you can hear what she has to say. You see more people. Listen this. And then when Lady saw, I'm going to come from the internet say, she see me in a lesbian relationship in Europe. What do you think say, people are going to think? I saw me feel so Lady saw with the information of character. <laughs> When we go apologize to who? When we say, what's your name? When we say apologize to Lady Safa. And Lady Safa needs to apologize to me because she come from line and call me Lady Safa. And I never call her and I said she cut out the fuckery. And if she says she love God, sure we say she love God. Me never come talk about her personal life. All right, my people. So that is what's taking place right now. Yes, our man say even though we know Queen Africa, well, me not say we know, cause I don't like me know her personally. But I don't think she's going to go to the extent for say, yo, you can't say this and that, but me I'm gonna file lawsuit or whatever. Because you don't know, she did come out and you know she said some things as well. Even though what she said, she has said from her heart, she has said from a good place. You understand? She does want Minister Marian all for cut out certain things and you don't know for just leave certain things alone. But you don't know, people. It is what it is. Is it? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so now we're going to talk about your girl Shensia my people and Shensia announced that she will be giving away a 10 MacBook and also she will be paying two Shen Yang tuition you see me so she actually put out this video yesterday and think uh, yesterday was Shen Yang day you don't know it's a big celebration for the Shen Yang fans them and things so let me play this video by Shensia and then I'm going to actually show you the caption when she posts my people so listen this 
Happy Yang Day to my Shen Yangs. I love you guys so much. And you know, on this date every year, I give back to you guys for giving me all the love and the support that you give. This year, I'm paying off two students' college tuitions as well as I'm giving away 10 MacBook Pros. You can check my Snap for specific instructions. Today, make sure to say stream Shen Sia like no other. A Shen Sia. Happy Yang Day, babes. Mwah. All right, my people. So after Shen Sia post that, in the caption, she say, Happy Yang Day. 10 MacBook and 2 Shenyang's tuition will be paid off by yours truly. XO, XO, XO. Well, I guess that a kisses and hugs, is it? So, that's how Shensia have to say. And we have to big up Shensia for these people because, as I said, this is not something where she is at the first time she do it. She always do it in celebration for all of the support of the fans, them, you know, show to her and thing. And I think it's definitely a good look, is it? That's why I like how Shensia deal with her fans, them. I'm a love of spice, deal with her fans, them. You know, when you love your fans, them, trust me, the, 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 the fans, them can feel the love. You have some artists in there, come like them, no love them fans because them they even <laughs> them they even does you know it's like the way oh shensia does make sure she always make the fans them know so she love and appreciate them when she go live she always make sure so them know so look my respect with you, you know you understand me and say the ones them will stick by me when me i go through certain things but anyway people let me know anything about this in the comment section and that's it for the video you know thanks for watching don't forget for like share and subscribe bless upon yourself until me drop the next video i'm out